Turkana, one of the largest and hottest counties in Kenya, with temperatures at times exceeding 40 degrees Celsius and an average rainfall of less than 100 millimeters a year. Welcome to the Prado of Mankind. Majority of the population follows a pastoral lifestyle keeping various species of livestock to provide sufficient milk and meat for consumption, social exchange, and occasional sale. This is a highly traditional society that has over the years received less development attention than most counties in Kenya. Traditional practices and instincts here remain strong. In this county, you will find Turkana, the largest permanent desert lake world. <music> County borders Pia, Thabda, and Dida, and Daham, in Ramla, Wabling, of Tepsi, Dodsi, Pier, Pox, and Kha, share common grazing resources, which often lead to resource conflicts, especially during the drought periods. Such conflict was witnessed during the drought that occurred in 2011, which triggered a special intergovernmental authority on development sitting to address the issue. So uh, at that time then the, uh, under the auspices of EGAD, a, uh, a, a common uh, platform was developed huh? called the called IDRISI, which is basically EGAD Drought Resilience, uh, Disaster Resilience Strategy Initiative. And this uh, uh, combined with what countries will do on their own, basically forms the platform for addressing the challenges um, within the region. So, so for us, um, as a, as a country and, and countries with the bank, the bank to support this and bank read to support um, Kenya, Ethiopia, Uganda, and to implement a year program dealing with the challenges of um, the region. In Kenya, the government through the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fishery, and Irrigation spearheaded World Bank regional pastoral livelihoods resilience project rplrp kenya and the objective basically is to enhance the resilience of a pastoral and agro pastoral ministry to be better able to address the recovery of drought and to be able also to assist the countries be more effective in response or responding promptly um, addressing challenges that uh, normally uh, occur when we have drought within the region. The project is being implemented in 14 countries, namely Garissa, Wajia, and River, Lamu, West Pokot, Baringo, Laiba, Yolo, Marsabit, Tamburu, Narok, Mandera, Kajiado, and Lukana. The project uh, is begun in 2014. Turkana, it, it started in 2015. We have a team of uh, four. We have uh, an accountant. We have a procurement uh, person. We also have a uh, M and and other such stuff. In this video, we look at some highlights of what the project has done in Turkana. Here, the link covers three sub counties, focusing on minority routes of transbound signal. Significance with the main investments being done in Ma and Turkana West sub counties. The main project outcomes in Turkana County are to reduce the death rate of livestock that is cattle, goat, and sheep kept by pastoral and agropastoral households targeted by the price seven percent, and three percent in normal years by 2018 to meet the number of animals traded in selected markets by six. By 2019, to raise the real value of animals traded, selected project markets by, by the year 2019, 
to effect change time maps between early warning information and response from four weeks to less than two weeks by 2019 and to directly benefit 7,000 households or 42,000 persons of which more than 40% are female. In, uh, in undertaking the uh, activity, the project five components. Under the process management component, the project is enhancing sustainable management, securing access of pastoral and agro-pastoral communities to natural resources with transboundary sins. In Turkana County, the project has facilitated the construction and rehabilitation of various projects, including the Siriam Water Pan, Lohori Bohol, Lomoti Water Pan, Nakabukan Bohol, Nkerei Kerei Bohol, Kalotrongor Water Pan, and Nakabukan Bohol. In Nakirich, villagers used to rely on tunnels dark wells on dry riverbeds for the water to livestock. During the dry season, the water sources along the stream dried up. The community was forced to walk to Namorkno Stream, near 10 km away, to dig up wells for their domestic water. Because their available water points were not meant for all animals, most of the people forced to migrate across the border into Uganda to look for water. This migration exposed the community to hostilities with to loss costs, often ending death and livestock theft. The RPLRP project initially to construct a shower well at the village, but discussions with the community elders led to the realization the site was suitable for a shallow well. To Um, if you're yeah, in the Congo boat, Congo boat on my fire. Nanuka Maja and a patio all to a letter. Not food. Maja won't be taught on a patanga visima and by an eva Nagatongo Nangaitua Kakudongi. Easy. Na ngombe sote tulikuwa tunaenda ikwenda hata kufuta jina maji na tukapata chida ya baskuri lakini wakati maji wa hapa imeadia nyama wetu nyama wetu sio tena kwa nyasi ya jirani ana ngombe tu ilikuwa ina mganda kupitia uko maji kwa sistemi ina kamio wanaiwa Lakini vile imaji yoku hapa, imeeta mawaso yote wa miaji walikuwa na miaji wana wakati hali watakuwa wanatumi maji. Iyo diyo rawetu wana kitongo. Kumuraia vile hii maji tulipata. Na hata sisi samari wana ni woga ni shida. Iji ilikuwa kila hara watu na kitopelewa na hospitali kwa haji ya hiyo maji mbaya. Lakini yu kitu imepuka. Kitaka hii project ndele mbele. Lazi matena hizi kama kumi. Lewane vile tutachika hii muradi vizuri. Kwa sababu se mwenye hii muradi ya zingine hii mwenyejika. Na tuta za kukuruji kwa yuli litupatia pesa. Hizi uwenyewe kama community tutichi. Tuone vile hata kama ni kufanya kwa usichere nkidogo Sisi kama community Na tuelewane vile ya kwa mkitu ni yetu Che kidogo chenye kwa tukitogo Kila kutoka hii maji Na kutokona na maji na wale mwene Tutakuwa tunawaka kwa uti Ya management kami Ikichunga any breakers Or mechanical problem Enye itatoka hapa kwa hii project Market access and trade component project is improving market access for agro pastoralists and pastoralists in the inter regional and international markets for livestock and livestock products. Through this component, the project has indeed 
involved in construction of the Lokiriyama livestock market in Noimasa County. The area around Lokiri has for long food insecurity, especially for the Karamajung and the Tepesi communities residing in Uganda and the pop from the south. Construction of the crop market in Kiriyama is strategic in addressing these conflicts and for with the neighboring communities. This market is going to be to be serving the, the, the community and in Uganda. So on the other side of Uganda, there is another market being done by the by the same project in Uganda. It's called Kiloro, cross the market. We are trying to come up with a uh, policy to enable this markets function together. And one of them is coming up with the, with the market days that are not to conflict with that market days. So that when the traders are trading in Nakiloro, they can bring the produce to to Lokariyama markets. Umuyumu kuu sana ambayo yuko kwa kwa munanda huu utakapo kulika kwa mba tusaidi kumarisha usiano na pia na usalama wetu kati wetu na na majirani wetu ambaye ni kutoka upande ya Karamoja kutoka ya Dodo pia mandugu zetu kutoka upande ya Pote tunatarajia sababu mali mali sana karibu karibu na kwa vizuri sote tuko na hali moja ambaye katika usa moja ambaye ni sisi sote wafugaji so tunatarajia tutuletea tutuleta pamoja mradi wa upande wa majirani unajua majirani tulikuwa tunasosana wao. Unajua tukiwa na pia tunafanya chakula kwa pamoja na majirani. Unajua hiyo itapungua mambo ni sikiri hapa. Na unajua sasa kazi yangu itakuwa rahisi sana. Kwa sababu watu wame, wametoka kampu ya Uwisi wameingia kwa mani ya biashara ambayo imewabadilisha, imetoa imewa yao kwa hiyo mabaya wanafanya. Na sasa kazi yangu itakuwa nyume, itakuwa nzuri kabisa na sisi na kati mingi itakuwa tu na solve shida kidogo kidogo ambayo ni hapa ndani ndani lakini ya kusema kwamba tu wameshambulia maji fulani ati umechukua mifumo mtu fulani hiyo itakuwa imeisha kwa sababu majirani watakuwa wamefungua akili yao wamekuja kufanya biashara na wangu pia watakuwa wamefungua tutafanya biashara component is livelihood through which the project is enhancing livelihoods of communities in the project area through provision of affordable livestock health services, feed and food production, breed in and promotion of alternative livelihoods. Under component of uh, livelihood support, in short it's called LS, we, have, uh, we are supporting uh, the government in this is PPR uh, strategy, <coughs> that area we are collaborating with the FAO, PIPA is easy affects goods and ship. It's a very disease, and um, it's one of the objectives within our State Department of Livestock. Predicate PR, a country, and it's also an objective eager to eradicate PR with region. So the vision of the project is that the Ugandans and the Kenyans who could be aware that the vaccination, so we could be doing a kind of a sweep. Either we could start from border and then we move inland. We start, all of us we start inland and then we merge at the border. That's what is called nice vaccination. Transboundary disease control is one of the functions that has been of great concern in Kenya. Of course, you know, function of disease control elevations. Uh, on a viable disease like uh, PPR, which is actually locally known as Mo, instead of Petit Ruminate, uh, this sheep and pox, and uh, other common diseases, including contagious bovine pleuromonia in, in cattle. 
So we partnered with the, the World Bank funded project, RPLRP, in vaccinations. We provided uh, uh, 2 million vaccines across, across the counties, and uh, it means for every control have actually been boosted to ensure that animals are healthy. Prior to this, we were for training in Eldoret. <laughs> we equipped with this. This is not allowed to the that were provided by the project. So what we are doing is we're checking the, the flocks whether they, there is any presence of disease. Kit is different from the rest because now one goes for the antigen itself, which is the presence of the disease. Unlike other methods we are using in the lab, where we are actually going for the disease that, that, that maybe could be due to vaccine or the, of the disease in the flocks. Pakisanya mifu guapa. Pakai dua apa wad nama. Jika tak tanya apa terobos, anda tak sudan. Awak selalu di polis nak kujang nama gonjua. So kat itu apa dah merak ter wa kai. Ina sada gue tu. Ina cuma gonjua. Na ilai ilai tapi gue senap dia. Ambaya ina tu tercerai cewa kuku cewa kula busi. Tu tu nak kujang masih nengi. Na tak mampu. Pastoral risk management is the fourth component. Through this component, the project is enhancing drought-related hazards preparedness, prevention and response at the national and regional levels through the nation of early warning information on drought disasters. What you do jointly with the National Drought Management Authority and um, with uh, NDME, we, uh, we have at the moment been able to carry a number of activities revision of the sentinel sites so that when those in the sites we can get more uh, accurate more reliable information and also for us as a project getting information really enables us to understand um, uh, collection of data and information whether the project is actually on course towards realizing its uh, project objectives so we've done that we've been able to accomplish that. Uh, and we uh, uh, through uh, our engagement with the National Drought Management Authority, we should be able also to achieve some improvement in terms of response to drought issues. And at the time of appraisal of this document, of this project, uh, we were able to assess it takes about eight weeks. From the time uh, emergency is declared to response. And our uh, objective is to reduce that uh, time lag from four weeks to about six. So, uh, with this um, five years of project limitation, we'd be reduced that from four th uh, to three. And the pursuing, they went from um, uh, two to two. Project management and institutional support is the component which focuses on two areas. All aspects related to our role, project management and institutional strengthening at the county, national, and renewables for drought resilience and technical assistance to participating arid and arid lands counties in strategic planning, policy development, self-reliance and investment for economic growth. The aim is to speed up the devolution process in areas related to supporting the livelihoods of pastoral and agropastoral communities. The RPLRP project continues to give special support to county governments enhance their capacity to formulate their integrated plans on drought resilience. Throughout the implementation period and view and ensure stability of projects, the project team has deliberately involved members of communities in every step of the implementation process. This is guided by all banks, environmental and social safeguard policies. These policies are providing a platform for participation stakeholders in project design and have an important instrument to build ownership among local communities. The project is transforming the livelihoods of people across the vast Turka County, 
tangible solutions to perennial problems affecting communities. Ultimately, the project not only boosts their incomes in real life, but also offers a platform for peace and coexistence with their neighbors for years to come. Turkana, one of the largest and hottest counties in Kenya, with temperatures at times exceeding 40 degrees Celsius and an average reform of less than 200 mm. Come to the cradle of mankind. The population follows the pastoral style. Various species of livestock to provide sufficient milk and meat for consumption, social exchange, and occasional sale. Yeah. Residents form a highly traditional society that has over the years received less development attention in most counties in Kenya. Traditional practices and institutions here remain strong. In this county, you will find Lika the largest permanent desert lake in the world. The county does Ethiopia, South Sudan and Uganda. The western border of the county is in the Karamoja Kata, where neighboring tribes of Tepes, Dodosi, Gie, Pokos and Turkana common grazing sources which often lead to this conflict, especially during the drought period. It was witnessed during the drought that occurred in 2011, which triggered a special intergovernmental authority on development sitting to address the issue. So, then the uh, and also of egg, a common uh, platform was developed uh, called the called the which is the Egad Drought Resilience Disaster Resilience Strategy Initiative. And this, uh, uh, combined with what countries would like on their own, basically from platform for addressing the challenges of um, but within the region. For us, um, as a country, and, um, our neighbor countries, we approached the bank, the World Bank, to support um, this project. And the bank agreed to support um, Kenya, Ethiopia, Uganda, and Iga to make a five-year program dealing with in Kenya, the government through the Ministry of Agriculture, Fishes and Irrigation, spearheaded the World Bank funded Regional Patrol Hoods Resilience Project, RPLR Kenya. And the objective basically is to enhance the resilience of uh, pastoral and agro pastoral communities within the region to be better able to address the current about also to assist the to be more effective in response or responding promptly to crisis and um, the challenges that normally uh, occur have drought the region the project is being entered in four counties namely Garissa Wajir Tana River Lamu West Pokot Baringo Laikia Siolo, Marsbit, Samuru, Arok, Mandera, Kajiado, and Turkana. The project uh, began in uh, 2014. 
at Intruna, we started in 2015. We have a team of four. We have a, an accountant. We have a procurement person. We also have a, a MI and other support. In this video, look at some highlights of the project done in Turkana County. Project main was three on on migratory of transbound Nifkans, with the main investments being done in La and Turkana West sub counties. The main project outcomes in Tana County are to reduce the death rate of livestock, that is cattle, goat, and sheep kept by pastoral and agropastoral households targeted by the project by 7% in drought years and 3% in normal years by 29 to raise the number of animals traded in selected project markets 6% by 2019, to raise the real value of animals traded in selected project markets by 6 cent by year 2019, to effect change in time ups between early warning formation response from 4 weeks to less than 2 weeks by 2019, and to directly benefit 7,000 households or 42,000 persons of which more than 40 percent are female in the in undertaking this uh, activity the program has five components under the natural resource management plan, the product is enhanced sustainable management and providing access of pastoral and pastoral communities to resources with transboundary effects in turkana county the project has facilitated the construction and rehabilitation of various projects including Siriapa Pan, Lomokori Bohol, Lomoti Water Pan, Nakabosan Bohol, Nakereikei Bohol, Lotong Water Pan, and Tongo Bohol. In Akitongo village, villagers used to rely on traditionally dug sky river beds for domestic water and water their lives. During the dry season, when the water sources along the Tongo stream dry up, community was forced to walk to Namorkirion stream nearly 10 meters away to dig well their domestic water. Because their water was sufficient for all the animals, most of the people were to migrate across the border in Uganda to look for water. This migration exposed the communities to hostilities related to resource conflicts, often and death like theft. The RPLRP project had intended to construct a shallow well at the village, but discussion of community elders led to the that the site was suitable for a shallow well. Maji na nukwa. Maji ya napitia watu kwara na taifu. Maji ya ngobe tu kwa watu na fataka vizima ambani na yuwa na kitungo. Na ingine na hituwa kakunitimu. Saa hizi na ngosyo tu likuwa enda ikuenda. Yani kutaputa nyanzi na maji. Na tukapata chida ya ya mambo ya security. Lakini wakati maji wa hapa. Tuwa <laughs> community. Pele wane vile utachika hii mradi vizuri. 
kwa sababu sehemu nyingi aimu saa zingine nyingine nipunyika na tutaweza kurudi kwa yule alitupatia pesa sisi wenyewe ma community tuketi chini tuone vile hata kama ni kufanya cost charge kidogo sisi kama community na tuelewane vizuri ya kwamba hiki kitu ni yetu kidogo chenye tutakuwa kitoka kila kutoka na hii maji na kutokana na wafungi na wale wengine tutakuwa tutaweka kwa cap ya management break or mechanical problem itatoka kwa hii project Through market access and trick component, the project is improving market access for pastoralists and pastoralists in inter-regional international stock and livestock products. Through this component, the project has invested in construction of the Lokiriyam stock market in Lokiriyam sub county. The area around Lokiriyam has for long suffered from security, especially from the Majong and the Tepesi communities residing in Uganda and the courts from the south. Construction of the cross border market of Lokiriyam strategy in addressing these conflicts and fostering unity in neighboring communities. This market is going to be, be serving the, the community both in Kenya and in Uganda. On the other side of Uganda, there's also another market being done by the, by the same similar project in Uganda. It's called Nakiloro Cross Border Market. But trying to come up with the, with the policy to enable these markets to be there. And one of them is maybe becoming with the market that are not in conflict with market today. So that when the traders are trading in Kiloro, they can bring the produce to to the market. Umuyumu mkuu sana ambayo kwa 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 mnanda utamiliwa itatia sana kuyarisha uzano na pia na usalama wetu kati wetu na majirani wetu mbari kutoka upande ya karamoja kutoka upande ya dodoz na pia mandugu zetu kutoka kote tarajia kwa sababu atuwa mbali mbali sana tuko karibu karibu kwa vile sisi sote tuko na alioja ambaye katika usawa moja ambaye ni sisi ni, ni wafugaji so natarajia yetea itatuleta pamoja hii mradi kiwa alafu tupate majirani unajua majirani tulikuwa tunatana na wao unajua sasa tukiwa na tafanya biashara kwa pamoja na wao majirani unajua sasa hiyo itapusa mambo ya indikiri hapa na unajua sasa kazi yangu itarahisi sana kwa sababu watu wame wametoka kwa mwingi wameingia kwa mambo ya nini ya biashara ambayo imewabadilisha imetoa imetoa akili yao kwa mambo yao wanafanya na sasa itakuwa nywe itakuwa nzuri kabisa na sisi itakuwa na kazi mingi nitaona solve shida kidogo kidogo ambayo hapa ndani ndani lakini kusema kwamba tu wameshia mafu ati huko umechifugo ya mtu fulani kwa hiyo kwa sababu majirani watakuwa wamefunga kila wameja kufanya bia biashara na watu wangu pia watakuwa wamefunga akili watakuwa wanafanya biashara is livelihood support through which the project is enhancing the livelihoods of communities in the project area through provision of affordable health services, feed for production, breed improved and promotion of alternative livelihoods. Under the component of uh, livelihood support in school areas, we have uh, we are supporting uh, the government in this in this PPR education strategy. <coughs> in that area we are collaborating with the FAO. PPR is a disease that affects the good and sheep. It's a disease and uh, 
is one of the objectives within our State Department of Livestock to eradicate PPR in the Korean and also an objective within Eager to eradicate PPR within the region. So the vision of the project is that the Ugandans and the Kenyans could agree on how where to start the vaccination. So they could be doing a kind of a trip. Either we could start from the and then we move in or do we start all of us and that's called harmonized vaccination. It's boundary discontrol. The functions that has been concerned in care. Of course, we know function of this control, especially vaccinations uh, on different diseases like uh, PPR, which is really locally known as LOMO, that is state of petitis from India, uh, this sheep and goat pork, and uh, other common diseases, including contagious bovine pneumonia in, in cattle. So we partnered with the uh, the World Bank funded uh, project, uh, RPLRP, in vaccinations. They have procured uh, over 2 million vaccines across across the sub-counties. Uh, it means our efforts in disease control have actually been boosted to ensure that animals are healthy. Prior to this, we went for training in Eldoret, <laughs> where we were equipped with this test the, this, this knowledge on how to use the kit that were provided by the project. So simply what we are doing is we're checking the, the flocks whether they, there is any presence of the disease. The kit is different from the rest because now this one goes for the antigen itself. It is actually testing for the presence of the disease. Unlike the other methods we are using in the lab where we are actually going for the antibodies that, are, that, that maybe could be due to vaccination or the, because of the disease in the, in the flocks. This is a drug that is very important. And the doctor is going to be able to get the drug here. And the drug is going to be able to get the drug here. So we have to get the drug to the borders, to the Sudan. And we have to get the drug to the drug. So when the doctor is going to be able to get the drug to the drug, we have to get the drug to the drug. Pastoral risk management is the fourth component. Through this component, the project is enhancing drought-related hazards preparedness, prevention and response at national and regional levels through dissemination of early warning information on drought disasters. What we're doing, we're working jointly with the National Drought Management Authority and um, with uh, NDME we, are, uh, we have at the moment been able to carry out a number of activities such as for example revision of the sentinel sites so that within those sentinel sites we can get more uh, um, accurate, more reliable information and also for us as a project get information that really enables us to understand um, uh, through collection of data.